Welcome to Cover to Cover, where we're diving inside the pages of Plus Magazine. Plus Magazine cover star Greg Mathis Jr., star of reality series Mathis Family Matters and son of TV beloved judge Mathis, is carving his own path as an advocate for people of colour, the LGBTQ plus community and those living with HIV. Joining me now is writer Andrew J. Stillman. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Always a pleasure. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. So I want to know, what was the driving force behind this young man becoming an advocate? Totally. Um, so yeah, when I, uh, I did have the uh, fortune of interviewing Mr. Mathis Jr. myself, so we had a great conversation about all of this. Um, unfortunately, uh, his driving force was actually due to the death of his uncle. Um, his uncle passed due to uh, complications from AIDS. And so prior to him even being on television or even being kind of a really vocal um, activist, he spoke about how important the issue was within his family. And um, he also spoke about, you know, his father has kind of a more of a conservative um, fan base. So I think it was just important, you know, for them to have this issue and not important to have this issue, but important for them to address this issue kind of on a more public basis as their platforms began to grow. Yeah. So did, was there some controversy between him and his father? If there was, we didn't talk about it. Um, and I admit, I haven't actually watched the show. So I don't, I don't know if that was on the show at all either. But from anything that um, we did talk about, I, it seemed that his father was always really um, supportive of, you know, at least his journey. I think yeah. that he had a lot of time to, you know, learn with his uncle, you know, prior to Greg and being born. Um, but yeah, we didn't talk too much about his father, but I do, I believe that he had support and all of that the whole entire time. So I might be asking you to educate me. I don't really know the rules about criminalization and stuff, but what right. did Mathis have to say about the issue around HIV criminalization and how that contributes to stigma? Yeah, I think a lot of it now is kind of like phantom fear in a lot of ways. Um, and it's kind of crazy because like people my age and younger who live in this time of prep and art and all of these treatments and you know what I mean? When we didn't have to, or we didn't experience what it was like when this was a genuine fear and there's a lot of people who still have, you know, that thought and those fears within them. And even though certain criminalizations aren't there anymore, I mean, I'm pretty sure you used to be able to just get arrested for having HIV. I'm not too sure, I guess, because I don't know too much about the laws myself. But um, I think that just the fact that any of that even happened and the fact that there is still some of that kind of going on just contributes to people's fear of even educating themselves on the topic. It kind of circles back again to testing, which I know is something that we spoke on the last time I was here. Um, and it just prevents people from actually wanting to go forward and not only know their status, but also just educate themselves on just all of it as a whole. You know what I mean? Like they, they're just so afraid. It's almost like if they, if they look it up, they're gonna catch it still. You know what I'm saying? Of course, and some of the most vulnerable people like sex workers, they get tested, then they can't work. Right. It's, it's kind of like we need to break down the stigma and get tested and get treated. It's some things just don't make sense. Yeah. Um, and, and do we know why there's such an inequality with HIV when it comes to race? Unfortunately, and I think I'm just going to be so bold as to say yeah. it, I believe racism is um, a massive part of the problem. And I mean, within that, I even take this opportunity myself to acknowledge my own privilege within that conversation, because I'm obviously like a cis white man. So, you know what I mean? There's so much of that, that I just can't necessarily understand, but just do my best to empathize with. Um, I, and I'm also, I'm personally in an interracial relationship myself. So I've learned a lot just from having that. 
Um, but it is unfortunate. And I, I do believe that racism is the biggest issue there. And it also is still conversation because even when we do talk about um, our Black and Latinx community family, we also kind of forget about our Asian friends a lot. Um, I was just doing some articles on that recently as well. And so I, I think that um, there's just kind of a lack of unity involved. And even though everyone wants everyone to be like, okay, it's just like, they still have the, the idea of it just like my closest people are okay and not necessarily in the whole entire scope of things, if that makes any sense. No, yeah, no, it, it does. Thank you. Thank you. And I was wondering, can people with, you know, successful platforms, huge social influence platforms really help us change opinions and help with stigma? I totally think so. Absolutely. And I, I mean, honestly, personally, I'm a pretty small nobody. <laughs> and I, I have been contributing now to this Plus magazine for about eight or nine months, which is not a very big time. But I have people, I mean, even like this, how you, you know, you've reached out to me and we've talked about this thing, but I have had people thank me for things that I'm writing about. Um, I, Founders of companies are like reaching out to me. Someone told me that they were talking about me at the CDC the other day. And that's not, I, I'm not like the influencer, but what I'm meaning by that is I'm straight up just going to quote Galadriel from Lord of the Rings right now. Even the smallest <laughs> voice can change the course of the future. And so for me, what I'm meaning is someone like me who's so small and nobody who can make waves, then absolutely people who have platforms can totally change the the ideas that people have because they built the platform based on trust like the people who are following them trust them and they want to hear their opinions and they want to know that what what drives them and it's kind of sometimes i think unfortunate because i think that people who are celebrities also people expect them to have all the answers to everything all of a sudden do you know what i mean and i also think that there's people who just want to have their art and do all that as well but i i absolutely think that people who have platforms who choose to use them in that matter can absolutely make some waves and change things totally. No, no. Uh, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Answer. Answer. <laughs> uh, no, it was great. It was perfect. You, you know, it's true. Just by having people you look up to accepting someone, mm -hmm. it means you're going to accept them. It's just opening the doors, you, totally. you know, um and that's what we need to keep doing and you are a great voice and uh i you know i will be reaching out to you whenever i can because you have such a a sense of understanding and come from a place of love which is all we can do really yeah, we can do. and i mean honestly just writing about all of this and talking to people like greg mathis jr uh, i mean it helps me also educate myself i mean i'm hiv negative so a lot of it I, I talked about it last time I was here, like I'm on prep, but I didn't really know too much about anything else about anything. You know what I mean? And so now I feel a little differently in that. I feel a little more educated and knowledgeable just about what's going on in in this topic. And and I'm I love that because I, I like to see the progress and I get sad about the setbacks at the same time. I know. Well, onward and upwards, I say. <laughs> Thank you so much, Andrew. Thank yes. you so much joining me today and I hope to talk to you very soon. Find the full article and more inside our magazine. You can stream the Advocate channel now. Download our Roku Fire TV, Apple TV or Google Play Store app for instant access. For Cover to Cover, I'm Stephen Walker.